if black people started supporting black people, we'd be unstoppable. Yeah. If if brothers and sisters would start supporting brothers and sisters and stop trying to take each other out and stop trying to compete with each other, we'd be unstoppable. unstoppable. The the culture, everything that's cool, everything that's bought in this world is we we define the culture. We tell we tell everybody else what's cool. We right. tell everybody else what shoes. Do you know the out. second largest right. export in America is what? hip hop. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, I had a meeting with Dr. Umar Johnson. You familiar with Umar yes, Johnson? Sir. Shout out Umar. So we had a meeting in California. We sitting down, and he, he he was telling everybody at the meeting. He said, you know, that we what we want for reparation is we want all of the publishing, the masters of our our, our, our brothers and sisters mm. that lost them in the music industry. He mm. said that there would pay. That's it's so much money in publishing and mastering that that there would uh, get us out of our condition. You know, so those are some of the things that you know. Uh, uh, we talking to you know brother Fran, Fred uh, Hampton Jr. from the Black Panther Party. We working with him, you know. Uh, he 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 got some initiatives. You know, we uh, we got some Black Panthers that did recently joined the hip hop fraternity in California. So you know, we 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 taking this thing from a whole another perspective. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just about the music, but we know. I tell them all the time when you think about hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's the second largest export. It's where the money at. Follow mm-hmm. the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we Black Wall Street, right? Mm-hmm. Remember that 1920? Yes, sir. Tulsa, Oklahoma. They had a GDP. GDP meaning gross national product. You know, the, the total gross national product of that economy. Yes, sir. It was 2.5 billion. <sighs> at one time, Kanye was worth 9 billion. He was worth three times the value of Black Wall Street. Robert Smith, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's worth eight. Million. He's worth three times the value of Black Wall Street. But we keep saying Black Wall Street, but nobody say that they killed 300 African Americans. No. And not only they killed 300, they killed another 600 that they buried to hide from the state troopers. So it was 900 people totally killed. And so when you talk about Black Wall Street, the backstory is that they killed our brothers and sisters. When you talk about Martin Luther King, he got a street on every block. The back street is that some little white boy killed him and shot him in the head. So you understand me? We got to look at the issues that's in front of us. You know, we got to look at the Kanye West, the Jay-Z, the uh, P. Diddy, you know, all these people that are billionaires and understand that hip-hop is the new Black Wall Street. For sure. So it we is. have the money. That's we good. have the wealth in hip-hop. You know, hip-hop is a trillion-dollar industry. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, gay, the gatekeepers are Universal, Columbia, uh, 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 Sony Interscope. Records, Interscope. These are the gatekeepers. So they control hip hop right now. So we have to have a, a, a fraternity or some type of political co- uh, organization. Yeah, representation. So, so, so we can confront these people and let them know that, look, Hey, man, y'all had the Industrial Revolution. Y'all had the Railroad Revolution. Hey, man, hip-hop is our revolution. You know what I'm saying? We want what's ours. We want our money. We want our masters. We want our publishing. You know, we want to control our metaverse like Snoop Dogg doing over there in Death Row. And that's when we're going to start getting respected. And I believe me as one of the uh, the people, you know, who understand, because we own everything. I own the name. Well, I don't own a hip-hop attorney. I own the name hip-hop attorney. We own 100% of the trademark. You know, a lot of these guys, you know, they got they, they got businesses, but they don't own them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we own the magazine. We own the award show. We own 100%. And that's what I want to show brothers what a free black man look like. Independence is not, you know what I'm saying, me saying that you're independent and you go distribute your music. Independence is when you own the entire and control the entire situation. And that's what we're teaching. And that's what we're going to get to. I and, love it, brother. I'm sorry. If I, uh, no, you're I think, good. I love I, it. I love it. Go ahead. I want to just pig, piggyback on what Ken was saying that, you know, with hip hop, you know, we have such a great opportunity as a black culture, as a culture, as as a whole, you know, and I think, you know, we talked about it earlier about, you know, how we have influences by social media. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Different things we see, different things we watch uh, on social media, but if we was to start writing our own narrative, Nietzsche, you know what I'm saying? Becoming the author of our narrative, you know what I'm saying? Instead of letting Interscope and, and, and all these different uh, record labels and stuff like that, because really, they really can't stop us. No, fact. Because we actually playing on fair game now with the internet. You know what I'm saying? The internet changed the game. You know what I'm saying? Before, when you had to get a distribution, you had to be go to Target and Walmart and all these different things, all these different uh, 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 places where you had the distributors to put your, your music out. Yes, sir. 
the internet is that now. You know what I'm saying? So I think as a as a group, as a whole, if some of the black leaders, like I love what Ken doing with you know, when Ken told me about hip hop fraternity, you know, he, he knows my skill. My skill is raising money. Yeah, he is. I like to I like to raise money. I, like I, it too. I, I get <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I take I take something That's like That's why this we cup. all doing it. Yes, I take show. something like this cup yes, and, and, and I turn it into I monetize it. You know what I'm saying? So Ken called me and he was like, Man, I'm doing this thing. I'm like, Ken, man, my construction bit is doing good. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm real good. You know yes, what I'm saying? He was like, Man, I just need you to come come over. I said, Man, Ken, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. And I end up going. The first time I went, I was so Impressed. It was in his basement, but I was wow. impressed because it was clubhouse. in the room. It was in the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the clubhouse. So I walk in this room. Here's all these black gentlemen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They all talking positive and stuff like that. I said, Faith of a mustard seed. I said, Wow, man. I said, I want to be a part of that. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I love about the hip hop fraternity. Yes, that's what I love about Ugly Money. I love when there's a group when we when we when we take our uh, our leadership skills and bring these young people in, you know what I'm saying, and train them, train them, and send them out. That's what a real soldier, a real leader never holds on to his people. He train them yes, and he send them out. Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King is good, but the people that he taught mm. is better than Come him. On. You see what I'm saying? Come on. You go, the teacher, the student should always over, out, supersede out do the, the teacher. I'll su supersede the, the teacher. You know what I'm saying? So. I love, man, what we doing, man, and, and I'm so excited, you know, and I want to put my effort towards whatever we do. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Ugly money, hip-hop fraternity, making it big. Oh, yeah, also I want to mention a couple of other cast members. Now, Diamond you, White, Shout she's out. over in Africa. Shout out, Diamond. What's up, Diamond? Diamond? She's in Africa. She's in Egypt, man. She, I think she's been over there for two weeks. Yeah, her and China got a yeah. crazy song. She yeah, need to come on yeah. home. Come <laughs> yeah. on home, Diamond. She's coming home. <laughs> and then uh, let's see who else. Uh, Bija Door, Nani, the whole cast. If yes, I sir. miss somebody named Selena, all of them, man. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of what we're doing. And I wanted to say this also. Um, yes, sir. So when I was started this, and like you said, six months. But you know, <laughs> you know, I'm 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 the uh, creative marketing director for HHF. the HHF Awards, mm -hmm. right? So that's what my specialty is, is the marketing. So you you, you see me. Yes, sir. I know everybody in this room Beyond. see me. They see me. Beyond. It's coming. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? So when I started, Nietzsche, I started getting all these inquiries from all these different, um, you know, platforms, mm. you know, television stations. I'm talking to these people and all this stuff. And what I see, man, is everybody, you know, they see what you're doing. They'll try to come in and they'll try to buy you out. Come on. You know what I'm saying? They really ain't offering no money. $100,000 ain't no money. $200,000 ain't no money. You get one person that might throw, uh, 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 what you call it, Walgreens or Walmart to throw you a million. Hmm. If you got the right stuff behind you, they'll throw you a million because that ain't no money. They're a billion-dollar company. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I saw, I said, you know what? I'm going to keep on striving. Sometimes we give up too soon. We give in too quick. You, you right feel what I'm saying? We, yeah, we, we we see that little money, man, and that's what they always do. They dangle that little money in front of us, and we like, ooh, I ain't got no money. I can go buy me a, a car. I could buy me this. I could buy me that. But sometimes, man, we got to sit back, let that thing germinate, yes, let it marinate, and then guess what? Boom. There go the bag. Got it's a coming. big one. It's coming. 